Good morning, everybody. We're on Bridge Street, heading back to Salford. Done a lap in the city. Well, a few laps. Got a sausage roll. Drank some apple juice from a carton. Had a look at the deteriorating crackhead situation. And by deteriorating crackhead situation, I don't mean the situation's deteriorating. I mean the crackheads are deteriorating. A year of abandoned city centre with no one giving them change, still requiring the same amount of narcotics to self-medicate. And I've gone a bit softer on them because we all know that uh, when a child is raised with love and attention and uh, optimism and decency that uh, it's less likely, it's not impossible, but it's less likely that kid's going to turn into a crackhead having a slow suicide on the streets of Manchester. So, and I think a lot of parents stress out, am I a perfect parent? Am I giving my kid the ultimate upbringing? Well, I think kids are very malleable. There's a lot of flexibility. As long as you love them and they know that they're loved and hyper important to you, you know, you don't need to be, you know, like, uh, what's it, Steiner school levels of one-on-one -on -one tuition all day every day just let the kid know they're loved and they pretty much raise themselves with everything else give them enough stuff to learn english whatever language you speak maths science trivia the good stuff show them how to find knowledge love them and they'll do the rest pretty much and uh, my only source is myself father of three been a dad for almost a decade now so when you look at the people who are so disheveled and so sad and so ruined, the big elephant in the room that we don't want to talk about is that we cage, we, we imprison, we judge, we shout, we make YouTube videos saying fucking crackheads, when in fact we need to actually stop and think about the prolonged periods of neglect and suffering that the babies, toddlers, young children, children, adolescents went through. And it takes years, I think, to create a street demon, to create a crackhead, and uh, maybe a bit of softness from, from me, from this channel now, because there but for the great... <laughs> There but for the grace of God go I. I had loving parents. They made me know I was loved. And I pretty much did the rest. Beep, beep. And I'll tell you what's interesting. It's one of my viewers driving a bus. Gave us a toot toot. You know, like, my parents... They were busy with uh, whatever they were doing, as well as raising us, my brother, my sister and I. And they did a bit of, you know, like extracurricular learning, reading, writing. But that was when we were like six, seven, because I remember my parents were like, good. We don't have any concerns about your education. You just pay attention in school, pay attention to the teacher, take an interest, learn it and you'll do well. And I did that. What do you see, Isaac? You see the river? Let's have a look at the river for a moment. There's the Lowry Hotel. Why is my phone making funny noises? All right, there we go. Anyway, today is a first for this channel. We are filming in 4K at 60 frames per second. And I was like, wow that's cool and then i look at it I look at the settings it goes up to 8k at 30 frames per second does that look like daddy on the building over there isaac does it look like daddy looks quite ominous in the dark cloud doesn't it doesn't look quite the same as when it's sunny i always prefer of course Everyone prefers everything when it's sunny, except farmers. Farmers, I guess, uh, don't mind a bit of rain. Oh shit, we're gonna get run over by the Ubu truck. Ubu. 
Oh, he's reversing. 